horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. many dangers on the wagon trails that led to the west. And even after they reached their destination, outlaws and hostile Indians attacked their homes. It was a country where only the brave could survive. But in all the new territory, no one could match the strength and courage of the masked rider of the plains. It was he more than any other man who brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail of outlaws. There's going to be trouble. Hail Silver. Hoy! <laughs> It was shortly after the Civil War that a wagon train stopped for the night in the hollow near Traveler's Spring. The forest rose on all sides, and although the leaders knew it was dangerous not to camp in the open, two dry camps on the previous nights had forced them to take the chance. At 12 o'clock, all was quiet in the hollow when suddenly a little girl began to sing. In the forest, less than a hundred yards from the wagons, two men crouched at the foot of a great pine. Do you hear that? Yeah. There's women and children in the train. We shouldn't be here. But we are. There's no use talking about it now. Hanging out with outlaws. Renegades that join up with the Indians to attack our own people. We got no call to be proud anymore. Our homes are burned. Our money's gone. You aren't Francis Blake of White Acres Hall out here. Randolph Oakman don't mean a thing in this country. My father used to say that honor was the dearest possession a man could have. So did mine. He's dead now. And his son still likes to eat. That's why we're here, and you know it, Frank. We were hungry. Well, she stopped. It's time she was asleep. I hope she never wakes up. Don't. First the Indians, and then us. The orders are not to leave anyone alive. It isn't too late. We could run down through the trees and warn them. They don't have a chance, and we'd get shot in the back for trying it. We'd save our self-respect. You're only 20, Frank. Do you want to die yet? I... No. Neither do I. But I can't go through with it either. I can't shoot women and children in cold blood. I... Quiet. Larkins will hear us. I don't care now. Quiet and listen to me. What? That kid singing. It got me too. We won't fire a shot. But afterwards... There won't be any afterwards for us. As soon as the fighting starts, we'll cut back to our horses and ride away. Turn our backs and... There's nothing we can do to help those immigrants. You have to make yourself admitted, Frank. At least it won't be our bullets that killed them. The Indians. All right, boys. Follow up. Come on, Frank. They'll all be wiped out. Don't look. Do I have to drag you? No, I've seen enough. But I'll never forget it as long as I live.
the years passed, and Frank Blake changed from a ne'er-do-well boy into a settled rancher with a wife and family. It was on the evening of Bob Blake's 21st birthday that Randy Oakman led a wagon train into Meadville, the nearest town, and rode out to the ranch. The two old friends made a tour of the place after supper, and as they headed back for the corral, their thoughts returned to the past. Have you ever been able to forget it, Randy? Forget what? That night at Traveler's Spring. Oh, I don't recall much about it. You don't? Well, I've been in too many Indian fights. They're all mixed up in my mind. That was the only time you were on the wrong side. You've led a hundred wagon trains across the plains since then. Well, anyway, a hundred. Maybe that's why you don't remember. You, you've sort of made up for it. But we didn't do anything, Frank. We ran away, didn't we? We ran away, all right, but not soon enough. I can still see those Indians charging down on the wagons, and I can still hear that little girl singing. You've got enough troubles right here in this ranch without borrowing from the past. Yeah, I know it. You know, if you don't get some rain pretty soon, your creek's going to dry up to nothing. <laughs> I need a cloudburst. Have you figured ahead at all? Sure. If we don't get rain, I'm going to have to sell my stock for whatever it'll bring and move someplace else. Eh, where? Maybe that valley where you're heading now. You could do worse. Well, I'm serious. It's only a question of days before I'll have to get rid of the cattle. You'll be in Meadville for a week. Now, who can tell? Maybe we'll be traveling with you when you go. I don't wish you any hard luck, partner, but <laughs> that'd suit me fine. There's Mary on the front porch. Hiya, honey. She's a nice kid. As nice as they come. My boy isn't so bad either. Oh, Bob's all right. Just all right. He reminds me of you and me 25 years ago. He won't have to go through what we went through. Oh, I guess every father hopes that for his boy. Why should he? That's a hard question. Bob's 21, though. You know, I think he feels he's sort of tied down on the ranch. If he's discouraged, it's only the drought. He don't like it any more than I do. Well, it's a drought, all right. Home always seems kind of dry to a 21-year-old. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he kicked over the traces. Bob? That's who we were talking about, wasn't it? Mary, stop that. Hey, what's the matter with you? Stop it, Mary. Have you gone loco? That's what the other little girl was singing. Don't you like the way I sing, Pa? I... <laughs> I don't want you to ever sing that song again. Bob sings it. Now, that's different. Because he's older? I... Uh, yes. Because he's older. Well, I'll be 13 in a couple of weeks. Can I... Frank, come inside right away. What is it, Em? Randy, would you mind staying out there with Mary? We won't be long. Well, stay as long as you want. Mary, here's my best girl. <laughs> You're my best fella, too. Now, what is it, Em? He was going out the back way. He was going without even saying goodbye. You mean Bob was was going to town? No, I don't. I mean away for good. He's in here. You've got to talk with him, Frank. I can't think of anything to say. But where? What's got into him? Nothing's got into me, Paul. Well, something must have. I want to be on my own, that's all. You had a chance to be when you were young. Why can't I? I didn't ask for that chance. I didn't want it. Well, it did you a lot of good anyway. How do you know anything about that? Well, must have. You're wrong. I can't tell you how wrong. Then let me find out for myself. But there's no sense to it. If you're tired of Meadville, I can understand that. You're right about it, too. You might as well face facts and sell out. We could pack our things and go west with Andy's train. I've been thinking about it, Em. It could be managed. To hear Randy talk, Pleasant Valley's a wonderful place, Bob. Wonderful for you two, maybe, but not for me. Wherever I go, I've got to go alone. Oh, it's hard to explain, but I've got to. That's why I didn't even want to say goodbye. This won't be forever, you know. I'll come back and... We may not be here. I'll find you, wherever you are. Maybe. Your, uh, your father's always hoped that you'd work by his side, Bob. And then after he was gone, that you'd carry on. Well, there's plenty of time for that later on. Now, won't you just let me kiss you and say goodbye, Mom? Well, if that's the way you want it, son. I, I do. Goodbye. God bless you. Paul? Here's a hundred dollars. I don't want any money. I've got a little, and whatever I need, I'll earn for myself. Just shake hands? Sure thing, Bob. Goodbye. Oh, Frank. It's all right, Em. He'll travel west, so will we. You've made up your mind? Yes. There'll be more chance of keeping track of him out there. I suppose so. 
Land sakes, Frank, I'll... I'll have a lot of packing to do in the next few days. We'll both be busy. <laughs> that ought to help a lot. Two weeks later, and over a hundred miles to the west, a masked man and an Indian had made their camp in a grove of cottonwoods near Eagle Point. They had just finished their evening meal when the noise of a horse crashing through the underbrush brought them both to their feet. Somebody ride this way? Yes, Tonto. There are plenty out while around here. They don't ride straight for a campfire. We won't need our guns. Good boy. Howdy. Welcome. You're masked. And that's an Indian with you. You have nothing to be afraid of. Uh, won't you have something to eat? No, thanks. I, I just as soon... He's slipping from your saddle. Quick, Tonto. Tonto, catch him. I'll take you. Put a blanket over those spruce boughs. Ah. Uh. Uh, him plenty weak. That's the idea. Hungry, maybe. There. Uh, what do you think, Kimosabe? Don't you not know. I'm afraid he's almost done for. Him still sleep? Yes, but he's a lot stronger than he was last night. Him need food plenty bad, then. We can leave him here and ride up to the point as we planned. Maybe see outlaw camp from here to there, huh? Yes, somewhere around. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Please, Toto. It looks like smoke. Ah, their camp. I wonder if it's Mike Ward. Him cross border month ago. Come this way. We've got to get closer and find out how many men there are. Why him make camp here? Well, there's a wagon trail to the south. He may be planning a holdup. Uh, that bad. No soldier around here. Most of the trains can protect themselves if they have any warning. Ah. Uh, we ride to camp now? Oh, wait. What do you see? That slope this side of the camp. There's a rider heading up the trail. Ah, uh, Tonto's him. His horse. From here, it looks just like the one that boy was riding last night. It's the same one. It's the boy, too. He must have wakened just after we left. Saddled his horse and rode away. And why him do that? He thought we were outlaws. Oh, him go straight into outlaw camp. He'll be lucky if they don't shoot him on sight. We've got to do what we can to help him. Uh, Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. So you want a job, a kid? Yeah. What kind of a job do you think you'd find here? Well, anything is all right. As long as it's honest. I saw the smoke from your campfire and... Well, I just thought I'd take a chance. You sure did. That's enough. Get back to your post. Well, we won't have any more visitors today. You never can tell. Stay there. Say, what is this camp? Well, uh, we're trappers, son. This is the off-season, and we're just camping here till fall. Oh, I guess you wouldn't have any use for me. We never can tell about that. There might be a few odd jobs around you could handle. Well, that'd be fine. Yeah, we'll see. You're husky enough. You handle a gun? Well, not bad. I'm better with a rifle. Uh-huh. Well, stick around. Pork chops over there. I'll give you some grub. Oh, a couple of hombres coming up the trail. You know them? No. One of them's wearing a mask and the other's an engine. I know them. They're outlaws. I stayed in their camp last night. Outlaws? A masked man and an engine? Yeah. And the masked man's got a big white horse. You couldn't miss it. It's the same one. That's right. Uh-huh. I sort of expected a visit from those two. Are they all right? Joe, get all the boys together and start pouring lead down that trail. The one that picks off the masked man gets a hundred dollars. You hear that, man? Over to the head of the trail and open fire. The one who picks off the masked man gets a hundred dollars! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger and Tonto saw young Bob Blake ride into the outlaw's camp, they rode after him, but a hail of bullets drove them off, and they were forced to return to their own camp. Uh, Dip. Dip Tonto's fault. Them see us. No, Kimasabi. Well, there's no way to get close to their camp without being seen during the day. We'll have to try it again tonight. It bad, Ward. No, you here. We aren't sure it's Ward. I think the boy is still safe. Maybe boy work for gang. Lose way when him come here last night. I can't believe that. I... What's the matter? Something shining on the ground over here. A piece of metal or... It's a watch, Tonto. Huh? Take a look inside the cover. It, it belonged to boy? Yes. To Bob Blake on his 21st birthday from Randy Oakman. Randy Oakman? Him scout? One of the best. If Bob Blake is a friend of his, we'll do everything we can for him. I'm not a fool, Ward. Aren't you kid? You couldn't expect me to stay around here for a whole day and not find out you were a crook. What about it? What about it? You aren't going to find any honest hombres around this cafe. Well, I thought maybe the mask man might... Nope. You wanted him shot? He works things from a different angle than me. We don't uh, like each other, that's all. You can choose between us if you want to. I'm not a crook. But you'd do better to stick with us. There's more of us, uh, for one thing. It's no trick for us to stop a wagon train and relieve the emigrants of the gold. It runs into money. No, thanks. You're leaving us? Well, can I? Sure. Uh, where you going? I don't care. Got anything to eat on the way? Well, until yesterday I hadn't eaten for three days. I guess I can go hungry again. Uh, that ain't good for a kid your age. Suit yourself. Now, uh, I used to go hungry. It's worse when your mind is awful clear and all you can feel is a pain that keeps shooting through you. Was it like that with you? Yeah. You can have it. Then sometimes you feel yourself gone and you're glad. But you wake up again, it's even worse. You want to die and you can't. I I didn't... You, uh, you get a job here if you want it. Plenty of vittles. Oh, when you hold up a wagon train, you ever kill anybody? Not if we can help it. There's no sense to that. Well, I... Now, look, you sleep on it, kid. Roll up in your blankets and give me your answer in the morning. Yeah, I will. Indian. Huh? You follow me. Me show how you get out of camp. No. The mask man sent you, huh? Oh, that right. And Tonto what? give you this. Here. Well, what is it? My watch. Indian. Oh, he's gone. I wonder. Well, Joe, I spotted a wagon train. They'll be camping at the spring tonight. Bob, round up the boys. Tell them we got work ahead of us. Tonight? Tonight, yeah. Hurry up. Yeah, I'll get them. You trust that kid? I like the way he handles a rifle. And after this job, we'll be able to trust him. That's right. You didn't see anything of the mask men around, did you? Not a sign. And don't think I wasn't looking. And I'd still like to collect that hundred dollars. I'd make it a thousand. But I'm glad he's out of the way. Come on. How many wagons? How many men? I think it's Randy Oakman that's leading them. It's about time we cooked his goose. That's what I say. There's only ten wagons, and I'd say about a dozen men. We can handle them each. All right. Get those wagons in a circle all around the spring. That's it. Keep moving. That's a nice spot for a camp. I wish it was more open. It's the best spot in miles, though. Good water? Fine. They call it Traveler's Spring. That isn't funny. Traveler's Spring is back in Kansas. Oh, there's about a hundred Traveler's Springs out here. Hey, are you thinking about... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. 
Well, there's no Indians in this country. Outlaws? Well, most likely. He used to be a tough hombre called Ward, but he's in Mexico now. Oh, don't worry so much, Frank. I've got my wife and daughter to think of. Pa, I'm 13 years old today. <laughs> you told us that first thing this morning, young lady. What do you want, another present? Not from you, Randy, but I want another from Pa. From me? Well, what do you mean? Is 13 old enough to sing, oh, Susanna? Sure it is. Traveler's spring. Oh, Susanna. If you don't tell the kid yes, I'll give your brain up for good. I... Go ahead, Mary. Thank you. I came to Alabama... Randy, go for your guns. You what? There's a masked man riding this way. The sun's full on his face. Put that six-shooter back in your holster. Can't you see him? Give me that gun. <laughs> There's an Indian with him. That's the Lone Ranger in Tonto. The Lone Ranger. Hi! Hello, Randy. Glad to see you're in charge of this wagon train. What's up? Mike Ward is camped just below Eagle Point. I think you're in for an attack. Well, thanks for warning us. We'll be ready for the coyotes. I have a plan, Randy. If we work together, we might be able to capture the gang instead of driving them off. Sure thing. Don't forget there's women and children in this train. They won't be in danger. Uh, this is Frank Blake, mask man. He's my second in command. Did you say Blake? That's right. You have a son called Bob? You've heard of him? Yes, he stopped at our camp about a week ago. Is he all right? He must have had a hard time of it, but he's all right now, in a way. What do you mean by that? He joined Ward's gang. Oh, not Bob. Don't judge him too harshly. He was all alone out here, and he thought I was an outlaw, too. The boy was hungry. Hungry? Remember, Randy? We're going back 25 years. Bob won't be with him when they attack us. He might be. He won't be if you can talk with him first. How could I do that? My plan would give you a chance. Then I'm all for it. To save Bob from what I've gone through, I'd give my life. <laughs> here, Bob. I can see the wagons through the trees. Get down the hill and take cover behind that big pine. Yeah. You're the farthest to the left. I'll be over there about the center. When you hear three shots, open fire and close in. I I don't have to shoot to kill, do I? Just shoot to keep from being killed. Huh? <laughs> You'll get the idea. Get up there. Leave horse up here. Take cover downhill. We've got to move fast. There's only the women and kids in the camp. You told them to keep the fires up and keep moving around, didn't you? Yes, but... The gang won't attack until the camp quiets down. We even and the so. masked man promised me a chance to talk with Bob before we open fire. Is he with the others, Tonto? No. His horse over there. Him wait by Big Pine. Me show you. We go slow, not make noise. But don't take too long, masked man. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Come on, Blake. <laughs> There were 12 men. I don't see any. Of course, it's hard to tell just by the campfires. But somehow those wagons look awful familiar. What if it was Randy's train? No sense. That sounds like Mary. It could be his train, and Paul and Mom and Mary could have come along with him. Oh, no. I'll check my gun. But you can't take a chance, you fool. You've got to get down there and warn him. If you do, Ward will shoot you. There, boy. He's standing up. Stop him. He's going down the hill. There's been no signal. That was Mary singing. I could hear her, so could he. He's going down the wall in the wagon train. I'll, I'll shoot him. I'm no. going to... You stay here. I'll stop him. I've got to. Best way is to make a break for it. I might as well start right now. Down. No. Right over there. Say something to him. The mask man. Hurry. I I slept. Watch it. Your father's wedding at the top of the hill. Follow me. Paul? We can't waste a minute. That kid might be up to something, boss. He's quiet now. It ain't safe. If he turns yellow, he won't. He can spoil everything. The longer we wait here, the more chance he has to think. They haven't turned in for the night yet. It's getting awful late. Take a look around. See if they're all ready. All right. I, I'll... Boss! Just reach for the sky. 
You're covered and so are all your men. It's the mask, man. That's a little ranger. Huh? You won't get me. Down with my head. The lone ranger? You never told us. It's the lone ranger, boys. He's got all the men from the wagon train with him. Don't shoot any more mask, man. I'm throwing down my gun. Are you coming over there, Randy? Got him all. How about you, Blake? Yes, throwing down the guns without firing a shot. And use your ropes. You aren't hurt, Ward. Bullet knock gun from hand. You live to hang. The emigrants will take you as far as Santa Fe. And the courts will deal with you and all your men. You can't do this. Stand up. It's a long, long trail. But justice will be waiting at the end. Another day. Get your wagons on the way. Get up there. Get up there, boys. It's nice to have you drive in the wagon, son. I'm glad to be here. But I guess you can thank the masked man for that. We haven't been able to thank him, but he must know we're grateful. I'll bet he's still watching out for us. I bet he is, too. This is the time of day I like best, when we're just starting out in the morning. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. You sing, too, Bob. All right. Will you, Ma? Of course. Well, will you, Pa? Why, uh, I don't mind if I do. That's a right pretty song. All together, then. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm going to Louisiana with my banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm going to Louisiana with my banjo on my just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.